And if you never go into the cocoon, then you just remain a fat caterpillar. A fatter pillar you remain. Hello, my free and ascendant soul. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, so am I. I'm Whimsicali, and we're here to heal the earth, empower the people, and vibe higher whimsically. So let's chat. Today, I would like to talk about discernment. And discernment is one of those cool things where you can't really teach it. You just have to learn it. You just have to, like, know it. There's a lot of things like this, and the older you get, you're like, ah, oh, that's what that was. Um, so, so, so today we're doing discernment. I would like to view discernment in the life cycle of a butterfly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like that. Okay, so we all know the metamorphosis of a butterfly. You got pupa, insect, caterpillar, cocoon, butterfly. It's a miraculous transformation. Miraculous. Caterpillars, oh my gosh, they, they eat everything. They eat what they're standing on. They're like, I gotta get in, I gotta get in, I gotta, I gotta grow, I gotta grow, I gotta grow. And I think this is, this is a person who is, who is hungry. Hungry for truth. I know I was this. I was like, mm, I gotta learn all the goodies. I gotta like memorize all the stuff. I gotta like go to every single class teaching. Give me all the goodies. That's okay. That's, that's, part, of, that's part of growing up. It's just, you know, absorbing everything. And, and, and the caterpillar, it, 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 it does grow, but it gets all fat, man. It gets chunky and it starts to look weird. Like job of the hut it starts to kind of look like that. Or, or the guy from uh, a bug's life, the boysenberry guy. Mmm, boysenberry. Uh, yeah, that guy. And uh, so here, here's the critical point. That caterpillar who has been absorbing digesting, taking up all this doctrine. It's full. It's so full of doctrine and paradigms and truths that it has been taught. It is so full. And if it never goes into the cocoon to process all that and to actually change, it will just stay a fat caterpillar. Yeah. Ew. I feel like we got a lot of fat caterpillars running around or crawling around. Because it's like, has anybody internalized the truth that they're taught? So, so here's what happens in the cocoon. The caterpillar becomes mush. It completely dissolves. It unbecomes into being. That's the name of my book, by the way. I'm gonna publish it one day. I will. We'll see. So the caterpillar becomes nothing in order to be transformed into something with wings. So that's pretty powerful. Until you make the choice to go hold yourself up in cocoon, you have to go alone in, into the cocoon. And, and that's scary because there's nobody there being like, you got this kid, I'm right there with you, I'm holding your, it's like, no, you gotta go alone. You have to see and digest what is true for you. And then you have to like shed what is not you. Ooh, that can be really tough, especially when you're all alone. Cause it's like, it feels like nobody's on your side, but everybody who is a butterfly has been through what you're going through. It's just like, your journey is not exactly like anybody else's. So it's gonna feel so lonely and different to you, but just know it's, it's better on the butterfly side. But while you're going through it, it can kind of suck. It can kind of feel like, my chemical romance, I'm not okay. The whole time it was happening, I was like, I'm going through a spiritual awakening, please be nice to me. When you've attached yourself to an, an identity or a group or a faith, and you don't know who you are anymore, that's, that's the lowest point. You're like, well, who the, who am I? And that's, that's the whole thing. Who are you? And who are you going to be? Fat caterpillars are all puffed up with everything they've learned and never digested it for themselves. Have all this gluttony of things that they've learned over the years, their whole lifetime. But they've never disseminated that into a truth that is true for them. And so they're judgy. Oh man, they can judge all, everything around them with all, all everything that they know. Yes, I'm a 60 year old caterpillar. I know everything. And I know that they should not be living like that because I don't. Ah, 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 ah. 
strong, strong job of the hut vibes. But if you're a fat caterpillar and then you're like, you know what? This is icky. <laughs> <laughs> so you go into the cocoon and you disseminate that down and you get really good at who you are. But, but you figure out what is true for you. You're like, it's just so much easier to love people without judging them. And it's like, okay. Oh my gosh. Yes. So then you start to break free from that cocoon. And then you emerge a new and discerning butterfly. Hmm. Beautiful. And so here is what is so great about being a discerning butterfly. You can see where you were all judgy before. Because you were there, you were in it, you were a fat caterpillar just, just going along with all the other insects. Just, yeah, yeah, with me. Separation, division, we don't, we're not about that. But the butterfly, the butterflies, okay, I see where you are. And I see where they are. And say, like, okay, I'm just gonna float. I'm just gonna float over here. Discernment is being able to be understanding without being invested, like emotionally. You're just like, okay, I, I see where they are, and that's cool for them, and, and I see where they are, and, and I understand that, I can see that, and it's like, oh, la -di -da. You can discern, you can discern what's right for you. Yes, that is a Ravenclaw mug. So what's beautiful about being a butterfly is not only the discernment that comes with the personal journey. Yeah, you can do the insect thing and go lay eggs and procreate and make more butterfly disciples, that's cool. But what do butterflies do, man? They pollinate. They literally fly around picking beautiful flowers and they're like, mm, yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go like do this thing and then put it over here. They're here to make the earth more beautiful. How cool is that? Spiritually speaking, like, we're here to do that too. Like, there's gonna be butterflies in the new earth. Mosquitoes and fleas, man, we're, we're phasing them out. They're blood-sucking life force vampires. No, they won't be around, but butterflies, yeah. They're here to make the earth more beautiful. Discernment is about figuring out what is true for you. So, so this fat caterpillar was getting all the food, shoving it in, all the truth. It could be ever true ever. The discernment is figuring out what is true for you because once you figure that out, you no longer want to apply your rules to anybody else. That's discernment. It's knowing what is right for you without having to impose it on anybody else. You know what's right for you. Focus on you, man. Get your wings, get your wings. I'm proud of you. But it's like, I can, I can meet people, I can see and if you want to carry the, the animal example all the way through, you can be like, butterflies flying around and be like, oh, squirrel, you really, you really like that nut. Man, it used to be against my religion for you to like that nut, even though I'm not relate, like, I, I have no relation to you. You're a squirrel, I'm a butterfly, and you like nuts. That, that's okay. But it's like, you, you can handle it now. You're like, oh, okay, all right. He really likes nuts, and that's okay. And then, and then you can just fly around making things beautiful, cause you can, cause you can, cause you have that power. The power to just be easy, to just float around, just making things pretty. That, that, that's what I'm about now, floating around, making things pretty. The cocoon is uh, about getting over yourself. Because, you know, um, you have heard it said, judge not lest you be judged. You get all of that in the cocoon. You see where your fat caterpillar self has been so judgy, and then in the cocoon you get you get real up close with all your judgments, and you're like, oh gosh, they all apply to me. But you realize all the judgments that you've been putting on others are actually against yourself. Because we're all one here. We're just at different stages of growth. And once you can understand that, because you've been through that, you have that understanding of that metamorphosis, then, then you, Judgment cannot exist for you. You're just discerning AF. You're just like, yeah, okay. I see where you are. It's like teachers don't judge kids for being students. It's like you're learning. We all are. I I've just done the cocoon thing where maybe you haven't. That's okay. Discernment is a higher state of mind because it releases judgment 
and provides understanding and love and compassion to make the world beautiful. Floating around, making it pretty. We vibe high now, because we have wings. If you're going through that, it is lonely. You'll become goo. The gooeyest, the gooeyest in the cocoon. But you will decide what kind of butterfly you want to be. And on the other side, it'll be worth it. I can promise you that. So, what have we learned today? Number one, discernment is a higher state of mind. It cannot be taught. You can't, you can't get discernment as a big, fat, bloated caterpillar. Discernment comes when you release the judgment and you figure out what's true for you and you start to live that out from a place of higher understanding. Number two, you must go into the cocoon and figure that out. And here's an aside. Um, so the thyroid gland is butterfly shaped. Oh, this is so interesting for women because um, women have thyroid problems because they're, they're afraid to speak out. And I think it's because um, this culture that we've been raised in is so heavily judgy towards females speaking out. And it's like, if we could just all vibe higher, so everybody has a voice and they're not afraid of that, and everybody's released the judgment, be like, okay, I hear your voice, I might not agree with it, but you are free. You are free to speak your mind. My mind is for speaking and for knowing its worth, okay? Let that thing fly, man. Let it out. Sing your truth with discernment. But you have to know its worth. You have to know that your little, your little butterfly, it's good. It's good. You just gotta know what it is for you. So you, you must go into the cocoon alone. Otherwise, you're just gonna stay in judgment and fear as Job of the Hood. <laughs> that is your fate. <laughs> if you're struggling, I just want you to know I see your wings. I see you. I see you. Number three. Life is better and more beautiful when you can float above the trees and you can discern and understand and then choose what's right for you because you know who you are now and you know you're here to make the earth beautiful. Anything less than that is just a waste of your energy. It seems so silly. It's like, why, why would I get upset about that? I, I could just fly over here. They're cool. I'm just so easy. So easy. No one ever said it was this easy. I'm, I'm here to tell you it's easy. <laughs> that is all. Stay whimsical. And I saw not one, not two, not three, but four yellow little butterflies flying around. And uh, they really looked like butter flying. They're like little, little yellow butter with wings. It was cool.